Mega Mechatronics. Breadboard. Welcome back to Mega Mechatronics. Today we are prototyping a battery monitoring system. Monitoring voltages only through uh, some isolated ADCs, analog to digital converters. So you can see in this uh, test right here I have two separate batteries. And these two batteries are isolated and they are s sending an isolated signal to an Arduino Nano. So this first battery, there's an AT Tiny right here. Um, I can grab a pen. So AT Tiny here and below that is a 4N25 opto isolator and then the second battery here is a second AT Tiny 85 and uh, that uh, opto isolator for that and then up here we have an Arduino Nano and that is taking the pulse signals from each of those Arduinos and it's measuring the width of the pulse itself so you can imagine uh, a different voltage would produce a different uh, width pulse and then that's how we are uh, utilizing some cheap digital opto isolators to give us a voltage reading. So if we look at the serial output of the Arduino, we can see the first battery is at four point, and if we can get focused here, So the first cell we're looking at 4.06, that cell is actually about 4.07. And you can see it, it is within, you know, 0 .0, 0 0.06 maybe plus. I'm actually not really going below 4.06. Well, there's one, 12. And then the other cell is actually 3.84, 3.85. And you can see how close that one is. Let's look back up and check out the scope here. And so the yellow one is the uh, first channel. These are the output of the isolator on the Arduino side. Um, because you don't want to burn up your oscilloscope by crisscrossing the grounds here. So we're just staying on the isolated side on the uh, Arduino side. So the top waveform is uh, or the top top pulse width is the battery one and then the other pulse width is the other uh, opto isolated AT tiny battery two and we can go into measure and we see the duty cycle of channel yellow channel one eighty one point four six so if we do 81.6 times 5,000, that's going to give us the equivalent voltage. Um, but what we had to do, I can show you, is we had to calibrate these. And we're using the voltage references, the internal built-in voltage references for both AT tinies. And um, there's only three connections to each with each AT tiny. So we have a voltage in, and we have the ground, and we have a, uh, a pulse width digital output. So internally, we are taking the voltage, um, the VCC, as both the the input that we're measuring the battery cell, because the, these batteries are powering the AT tiny, and they're drawing about 10 milliamps, 9, nine to 10 milliamps each. So if we come back over here, I can show you a little bit more with the calibration. And you can find all this stuff. Uh, actually, I should show you where I found that. If you type in uh, Arduino voltmeter, it'll give you several links. So here's one here. And you're going to have to use two different sets of code 
depending on which so this shorter version here from that uh, code Google site I, then we can look at this one, this longer one is actually on uh, provideyourown.com that's the one you have to use for the AT Tiny. so if we go over to this code this is how I calibrated it so essentially I copy pasted all of this right there, that's all copy pasted I'll go back here and zoom in for you and you see I had to calibrate this number if I open up, so you see this one's at a million one twenty-five. If I go open the other uh, unit one, you can see I have a, a slightly different here, one million one sixty-eight. And that's how, and all those tutorials will provide you that information. Essentially, it's one point one times the actual voltage, um, and divide that by the um, voltage that is displayed times 1023 times 1000 and that will give us pretty close uh, voltage reading using this voltage read function so this is what is inside of each Arduino and you can see I just easily mapped map the VCC 0 to 5000 to a digital signal and then we analog write that as a pulse width modulated signal and then that goes directly to the opto isolator and gives us an isolated digital signal and then we can demonstrate I will pull this off of here so we're going to take the ground for this other ADC and we're going to put that as a positive here. I do not recommend these cheap, these style. I've, I've found several bad ones. This green one's bad. i got to move it around and stuff. Um, so I'm going to stick this into the second cell. Let me double check my wiring. Put this in the other cell here. move this around, get our signal you know what, I'm just gonna throw this thing away grab another one alright so we can go back, let's pull up our serial And you see the cells are pretty closely balanced, so we would expect these numbers to be nearly balanced. Well, this is where I'm at so far, in the middle of this prototyping. I was up all night last night, and I spent pretty much all day today getting this to where it's at. Um, going through these crappy jumper cables giving me a not weird anomalies and things well if you guys want to see more of this please you, you gotta like this video uh, subscribe to my channel and that will motivate me to uh, possibly do a full tutorial a nice tutorial on exactly how I did this and uh, help you guys build uh, an isolated voltmeter so that you can use it in your e-bike or use it in any uh, lipo battery system so you don't kill yourself, your kids, or uh, kill your project. Alright guys, I'll catch you later. Thanks.